Hallelujah. Welcome to solve this nice exponential equation. Solution from here. From what we have here, which is 5 raised to power a times 5 raised to power a times 5 raised to power a equals to 60. Here, from what we have x times x times x, which we can write as x raised to power 3. Also here, we can write this as 5 raised to power a, then raised to power 3, which is equals to 60 on this side. And from the law of indices, when we have a raised to power m, raised to power n, this power multiplies and we have a raised to power m n. As this is the same thing as 5 raised to power 3 a, then equals to 60 from here. That is, here we can take the log on both sides and we have log 5 raised to the power 3 a, then equals to log 60 from here. Then here we apply the power of log given, when we have log m raised to the power p, the same thing as p log m. That is, what we have here becomes 3 a log 5 then equals to log 60 from here then next step here we divide both side by log 5 divide this side by log 5 and also divide this side by log 5 which implies here log 5 cancelled each other and we have 3a equals to log 60 over log 5 from here then here we can express 60 as 5 times 12 that is what we have here becomes 3 here equals to log 5 times 12 here then over log 5 then what we have here this follows from the law of log n, where we have log a times b, which you can write as log a plus log b. That so is all we have here becomes 3a equals to log 5 plus log 12, then over log 5. Then here we separate this into two fractions and we have 3 here now equals to log 5 over log 5 then plus log 12 over log 5. That this log 5 cancel each other here, we have one left, which implies this becomes 3 here equals to 1 plus log 12 over log 5 and also here let's write 12 as 4 times 3 that is we have 3 here here equals to 1 plus log 4 times 3 here then over log 5 then also this follows the logarithm we can write as 3 here now equals to 1 plus log 4 plus log 3 then over log 5 here that is here we separate this into two fractions and we have 3 here now equals to 1 plus log 4 over log 5 then plus log 3 over log 5 that is from what we have here, we can write 4 as 2 times 2, which is 2 squared. And what we have here becomes 3a equals to 1 plus log 2 squared over log 5. Then plus, here we have log 3 over log 5. That is, from here we apply the power of log n and 2 comes here and we have 3a equals to 1 plus 2 log 2 
then over log 5 here plus log 3 over log 5 then here we apply change of base and when we have log a over log b this can be written as log a to base b as this one we have here becomes 3a equals to 1 plus 2 log 2 base 5 then plus log 3 base 5 from here as this we divide both side by 3 divide this side by 3 also divide this side by 3 as this 3 comes each other here so we have a left which is equals to 1 plus 2 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 all over 3 from here so we have the value of a in this problem as 1 plus 2 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 over 3 now let's check if this satisfies this given problem that this here we substitute the value of a from here which is a equals to 1 plus 2 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 over 3 here that is what we have here now becomes 5 raised to power since we have a we can add it as a plus a plus a that's 3 so we have 3 a now that's 3 times 1 plus 2 log 2 base 5 then plus log 3 base 5 then over 3 yeah is equals to 60 on this side then since this power multiplies 3 cancelled each other and we have 5 raised to power 1 plus 2 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 is equal to 60 on this side and from the law of indices since a raised to power m plus n same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n then what we have here becomes 5 raised to power 1 times 5 raised to power 2 log 2 base 5 then times 5 raised to power log 3 base 5 is equal to 60 on this side then here we can write this as 5 raised to power 1 is 5 then times we we'll reverse this from power law and we have 5 raised to power log 2 square base 5 then times 5 raised to power log 3 base 5 is it equals to 60 on this side and what we have here follows from the law of logarithm we have a raised to power log b to base a is same thing as b that is here is same thing as 2 square so we have 5 times 2 square which is 4 then times here we have 3 is it equals to 60 on this side then we have 5 times 4 that's 20 then times 3 that's 60 which is equal to 60 from here. Left answer equals to right answer. Hence, from here, we conclude that A equals to 1 plus 2 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 all over 3 satisfies this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget this step. Subscribe for more videos. Turn the notification bell on. Share this video with them. So put your comment. I'll see you next class. Bye. For now.